Damian. So lovely that we are together here. We just had a wonderful uh, round of dialogue. We call it Dignity Dialogue. We have the 17th of September 2024 and we here in Madrid at the UNED University, University for uh, Distance uh, Education. And um, our dear host Saulo is sitting here with us and wonderful uh, group of people from all continents, New Zealand, South Africa, Japan, uh, the United States, Jordan, Sierra Leone in, in Africa. Uh, so it's, it's an, an immensely uh, diverse uh, group from all corners of the world here. And uh, you have just uh, told us um, what you, about your experience as a civil servant in Madrid and you are <clears throat> basically responsible for um, developing public policy for vulnerable groups. And uh, we uh, asked ourselves just now, what is the most important message or yeah, insight that we would like to share with the world? What does the world need to know? Well, first of all, thank you, Evelyn. Um, I really appreciate uh, the opportunity that uh, this conference gave us all and to just meet uh, each other. Uh, and um, the big responsibility of passing up a message uh, that was uh, built uh, among a community. <laughs> this uh, small community representing a community bigger that is in the world. So uh, one thing was uh, mm, the idea of practicing community. Uh, practicing community within um, a, the, the, the place that we uh, have in the in the society. So it is uh, from uh, the administration, from an NGO, from uh, uh, an educational uh, establishment, from a, um, a professional uh, environment, uh, also, or practicing law, or being a student, uh, of, uh, being true to your own uh, uh, gender and uh, also to your uh, age, and practice that community, uh, being uh, open to understand others, and also, that's what it builds this dialogue. And uh, let me interrupt you because mm -hmm. I very much like what you said about the uh, linguistic so uh, source of the word "otro." Mm -hmm. uh, well, I was telling that uh, I, when uh, I was uh, training in uh, in my home country, Ecuador, uh, as an anthropologist, I uh, had a teacher who told us that the etymology uh, of coming from ancient Greek. Uh, of uh, the word in Spanish otro, which means the other, comes from uh, a, a, a mythological uh, monster. O otro was a monster, so that was, uh, that's that, that sets up the, the idea of how hard it is to uh, uh, be with others. Uh, and uh, the the first part that we were talking is to uh, lay off and be open. Uh, not afraid, curious, it was one word, to be curious of, of, of the other, and because it's not a monster, it, it, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's the other. It's, it's, it's you within another person because you share the same uh, essence as a human being. Yes. Yes. Mm, what else? Any quick tip? I think we covered it, or what else? No. No, basically that. We, we, we talk about resilience. Yeah. And uh, the, 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 the. What is the core the, of resilience? The core of resilience is to uh, be, uh, learn from experiences, uh, be open uh, to uh, learn from those harsh times, and uh, turn them into opportunities of uh, making a difference. I very much like what you said uh, in the Western values, success, what did you say, success, progress, um, what else, entrepreneurship? Uh, yeah, that's, that's basically what we've been uh, sold as, uh, as the ideal. Yeah. Uh, not much uh, making community, not much uh, taking care of each other or, or those 
values are sometimes against or conflicting with uh, taking care of the elder, taking care of the children, uh, uh, building community. And uh, I think that's where uh, the idea of uh, thirsty thing uh, in, in, in the, in the model of the United States, see, they don't say go that we're, we're for happiness, but they say pursuit of happiness. So it's like something that you have to look for, not get at the end. So in that pursuit of happiness, the best way we believe in this dialogue is by practicing community. Thank you so much. Thank you.